I've been playing with these magnets all day and they are so much fun. They're kind of like magic. You will not believe what they can do. Let me show you something. Okay, if I place one down on the table and then I use the other one and I come kind of close to it, it makes it move without even touching it. Look at this. <laughs> Did you see how it just grabbed right onto it? Let's see how close they can get before they roll together. It's going to make this one move without me even touching it. Watch closely. <gasps> Did you see that? That is amazing. If magnets can move another magnet, I wonder what else they can do. Huh. Do you have any ideas? Hey, do you want to sing with me? You got to think it through to find out what it can do. You've got to try something out to know what it's all about. Whether you're right or wrong, sure or not, just think it through and you learn a lot if your brain is twisted in a knot. Turn your thinker on, show them what you've got. You've got it, let's dance. You've got to think it through to find out what it will do. You've got to try something out to know what it's all about. And that gives me a great idea. I'll be right back. Look what I have. I have this little picture of a mouse. And on the back side, I put a magnet. I thought maybe it might stick to this magnet. Let's see. Ah, perfect. Look at that. This magnet sticks to this magnet. So I can hold the mouse up without even touching it. So I brought my art supplies and I thought that we could draw a picture of the inside of a house. And then we could let this little mouse go all the way through the house without even touching it. We can make it move through the house using a magnet. Do you think that would be possible? I don't know, but we've got to try and see. I guess first thing we need to do is draw the house. All right, here it is. I drew a whole house. I have a door you walk in and here's the couches cause this is the family room and the table with the two chairs and the kitchen with the stove and the sink and the refrigerator. And in here I have a bedroom and two little side tables and a dresser, a big pink bed. <laughs> and over here I have a bathroom with a a tub and a toilet and a sink. All right, now I get to let the mouse wander around the house and I'm going to try to move him with just a magnet. Let's see if we can do it. All right, little mouse, it's time for you to move through the house. He's not moving. Did you see that? I can't make him move. I'm trying and trying. Huh. If I, oh, if I touch the magnet, then he moves, but I don't want to have to touch it. Huh. That didn't work. Any ideas? Why didn't that work? When I touched this magnet, I didn't even have to touch it. Remember it was moving without touching it. Why wasn't it working? What should we do? Oh, I just got an idea. Let me try this. Okay, I'm going to put the mouse on the house and I'm going to try to make him move under 
like this. Maybe I can touch it to it. Uh-oh, he keeps falling off. Let's see if I can put him under and make him move. Uh-oh, my paper's not very strong. That mouse keeps falling off. Oh, this isn't working. My paper's not strong enough to pick it up and put the magnet under the mouse. See, watch. It just keeps falling. What should I do, guys? Any ideas? Do you know? Oh, we need something stronger to put the paper on, right? Something really strong. What about cardboard look what i have maybe we could use a piece of thick hard cardboard to hold the paper up look at that it's not falling now i'll bet this will work i'm gonna put my mouse on here and let him move through the house can you see that just like that and put my magnet underneath the house and see if I can make him move. It's not even making him move at all. Maybe this cardboard's too thick. What do you think? I can't even make it move through that cardboard at all. We're gonna need something thinner than the cardboard, but strong enough to hold the paper straight. What should we do? Hmm, we really have to think this one through, guys. Something thinner than this, but stronger. Hey, I've got another idea. This is something that I thought of because I finished off a box of cereal this morning. Look at this cereal box. It's thinner, but it's strong. It can hold flat. And I even have a spot to put my hand in the magnet. All right. I'm going to try to put this paper on this box. I just need some glue. So what do you think of my house now? Look at that, isn't it great? It's nice and strong. I can put my hand inside of the box in order to control the mouse. I'm gonna put the mouse on the house like this, and then I'm going to put the magnet underneath. Let's see if we can make it move. Come on, oh, did you see that? It did a little move. Here, I'll show you from top, over top. Look at this, I'm gonna put it right inside. See if I can make him move. Maybe if I put him in the middle. <gasps> see, he moved some. He's moving. Oh, but he won't go back. Let's see. I put him back here. I'm trying to make him go to the bedroom back here. I grab him. He is moving a little bit. Did you see that? Come on, little mouse. He's just not moving easy enough. He's moving a little bit better, so the thin cardboard helps us a lot. And it's strong. We fixed a lot of problems, right? But we've got to get this magnet to move this mouse. What should we do? Why isn't it moving the mouse? Do you know? What if this magnet isn't as strong as it needs to be. Remember we had two of these kind of magnets and they were very strong. They could jump together, watch. That could jump. But I wonder if this magnet's not as strong. I'm gonna hold them close and see if they jump. It didn't jump to it. Maybe it's not as strong. I'll get it very close. It didn't jump. That means we need a stronger magnet on this back of the mouse. 
this magnet is not strong enough. But I don't have any other magnets. I only have this one and this one and this one. So what should I do? Good idea. What if I just put it on it? Now I have made a very strong magnet. All right, I'm going to take this and put it on my house and see if I can move my mouse. Are you ready? See the little mouse? Oh, he just jumped to my mouse. Oh, look at that. Hello, I'm coming in my house now. I'll go to my little couch and sit down. See if we can make him turn around. Oh, he just turned around. Sit down, little mouse. He's, he's sitting on the couch. Look at that. I can lift it up. And he stays on the couch. Wow, I can even pick this whole thing up and move the mouse because it's so strong. All right, it's time to go get some breakfast. Let's go to the kitchen. Get some food. Mm, let's sit at the table, little mouse. <laughs> it's like magic, isn't it? Oh, that's perfect. I'm going to make him sit at this chair over here on the end. Mm. He's eating his cheese. Good job, little mouse. Aren't you getting tired? Let's go back to your bed. Uh-oh, but he's got to brush his teeth before he goes to bed, right? Hey, come on in. It's time to brush your teeth. Let's go in the bathroom. He stands at the sink. Can you guys rush? <laughs> Good job, little mouse. Okay, it's time to go to bed. Let's go lay on the bed. <laughs> that worked perfectly. What a fun game. I can spend hours and hours playing little mouse in the house. This is perfect. If you don't have a mouse picture, you could do this game at home with anything. You could do it with a little bug or a little teddy bear or even a person in a house. You could even draw yourself in a house and then you could play house or you could draw some dolls. Wherever I bring my hand, that's where the mouse goes. Let's see what happens if I take off the back magnet that's sticking to the back. Watch closely. Are you ready? Be careful, little mouse. <laughs> he just fell off when I took the magnet. What a neat trick. That is such a fun science project and a really neat trick. If you show that to your friends or your family, they might think it's magic. Ah, hey, thanks for playing with me today. That was so much fun. Hey, do you want to sing with me? You got to think it through to find out what it can do. You've got to try something out to know what it's all about. Whether you're right or wrong, sure or not, just think it through and you learn a lot if your brain is twisted in a knot. Turn your thinker on, show them what you've got. You've got it, let's dance. You've got to think it through to find out what it will do. You've got to try something out to know what it's all about. 